Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where we have a sudden plentiful pile of pandas! Look at all of these pandas, you guys! I had no idea that we actually had so many of them breeding up in the background. I actually might need to go ahead and sort through here, because I think there might be almost too many pandas. But friends, welcome back! So right now, we are actually not working on pandas. I was just checking in on them and noting that, you know, I need to do a little bit of work to take good care of them. Uh, but we we not only have a ton of pandas, we are finally making a little bit more progress on that lemur goal we have to go ahead and breed up the, the fourth variant of lemur in order, right here, this one right here, we're getting closer and closer at breeding that one, in order to go ahead and be able to trade that lemur for elephants. And we're gonna need some space for elephants. So I'm very happy to note that we happen to have $700,000. Boom! And that is more than enough money to start expanding even further into territories that I have been thinking about transforming into savanna grasslands for our elephants. I thought we were going to go over here, but I think it would actually make more sense to maybe have the elephants start showing up over here since we ended up with kind of a desert zone. So we might expand up into this section and buy this plot of land so that we can start preparing it for safari savanna type animals and have the wondrous elephants like taking up pretty much this whole space. I'm going to try to find a way to make it so the elephants can be super happy and just basically have this entire square, maybe even two squares of space to grow and thrive in. So what I might do is buy both of these plots and then make like a gigantic savanna that the elephants can be part of. And I'll also expand the tapirs forest just a little bit into it so that the forest kind of merge together. Because I like those organic puzzle piece sort of builds for our zoo instead of something neat and tidy. Though I promise you guys we are going to tidy it up at some point in the future. So all right, with all of that said, let's actually just do it. I'm going to buy this chunk of land. Woo! All right, and this is going to be elephant chunk. And then I'm going to buy this chunk of land. It's for 175,000. Oh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> but we're getting closer and closer to completing the own 20 ch sectors of land uh, quest, which is definitely something I want to do. What I want to do for that one, though, is actually come down here and buy this plot so we can start having a special horse ranch. I want to build a really beautiful horse ranch that is going to try to unlock the 10 unique types of horse and also get the variants available so that we can create really cool spliced horse crossbreeds because that would be a lot of fun to be able to go ahead and have uh, horse crossbreeds for like weird centaur sort of mixes. I don't think we'll have any centaurs but we might have like you know, a horse and a giraffe, or a horse and a duck, a horse and a capybara. I have no idea what that would look like, but I think it would be cool. And the trick is, that would be another $200,000. And I don't know if we want to make that kind of investment just yet, but I do want to try to start making more money off of the people who are coming in. So let me actually see. Let's go to Research Hub. Is there anything? Okay, we haven't unlocked the bar. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the bar just to see what happens. Oh, hey, and now we can make cocoa seeds to make our own chocolate. Well, that would be kind of useful. Um, so the bar is one way we could potentially make more money from our guest. We also have advertising for richer visitors. I'm trying to think. Faster incinerator, the animal bins, park bin capacity. I think maybe we'll do park bin capacity because I'm hoping that we'll expand some of the things that we're looking for. There's like special CRISPR upgrades and a few other things that we haven't found yet. Let me check to see how many shops we haven't unlocked yet. I love that they add new shops. Yeah, there, look at all these. There's like a ton of shops we haven't even discovered yet. And we need to discover those shops. Whoops, enclosure is blocked. I bet it's our killer wolf pack again. Sure enough, it is the killer wolf pack again. They always have some issue with like the keeper not being able to reach their poop or something. Maybe it was here? All right, we're gonna move that tree. All right, population manager's path has been blocked. Well, we'll try to figure out like where it's getting blocked in a little bit. But okay, so let's check the CRISPR because project of the moment is actually trying to get that special type of lemur going 
Let's see, how is our pregnancy here? That's a normal pregnancy. Here we have another one of the little eye eye pregnancies. Very interesting. Little eye eye lemurs, very, very cute. So still waiting on the lemurs then. Hmm. So while we wait, is there another animal I could add in? I could technically put the goats down here. The goats, ironically enough, are a Arctic type creature. Uh, the Komodo dragons. <laughs> we do have Komodo dragons. I guess I could move things around over here to make room for Komodo dragons. That could actually happen. Uh, and then we could at least look at them and people could be like right next to us. What is this person complaining about? Hydration. They're really thirsty. Maybe I'll tidy this up and we'll just kind of try to sneaky sneak a Komodo dragon in here, because why not? Um, I think that might be what we'll do, because this is a mess. And if we're going to utilize this space at all, then I might as well put in like the Komodo dragons and do something useful with it. All right, so let's see. There's an ATM. I should probably put ATMs in more easily accessible locations. Here's our population hub and our population manager, um, which I'll move up right here. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to destroy this rock subway and move this subway up here. And then if I'm gonna have the snake, I might as well move it up here where people can use it. All right, let me move some of these things around. We're gonna make this happen. <laughs> All right, let's see. And my water thing, I don't think I need this extra water structure. Is this like an upgraded water pump? I'm gonna remove that. Yeah, that's okay, because we don't need water there. And then here's a little gift stand. It actually sees quite a bit of product uh, and locally I produce plastic currently held. It does see a little bit of the plastic that we've got. I think I'm gonna move this cute little gift stand maybe right here and people can like walk by it. In fact, I might move it right here. That might be a good location. Yeah, kind of like right over at the corner and then Okay, I'll have to move this, these things real quick. That's fine. There, cute little gift shop right over at the corner for people to go ahead and shop at. That should be delightful. All right, and then there's a bathroom down here. Another subway that's very active. People still have not come and I am quite distressed to my, my hat shop. So we're gonna move the hat shop over a little bit and we'll see what we can do with that. All right, so I don't know how big the Komodo dragon area needs to be. However, I wonder if putting the bathroom, <laughs> I wonder if putting the bathroom right here might actually help us out. Um, and then I could just like enlarge the bear area. I almost wonder if that would be better. <laughs> just kind of like move that out of the way. It doesn't look very good though. Everything is so busy over here. There's a bathroom. Somebody needs, the, these people do need the bathroom somewhere. Is there a bathroom over here? There is not. Yeah, look at this chaos. Yeah, there's a bathroom there though. So if we're gonna have anything, I think I will go ahead and just put this here for now. All right, and then let's move the ATM as well. So we're just gonna tuck the ATM behind this tree, but next to the gift shop so people can come and maybe do a little shopping at it. I think this guy is stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna reset this position. Oh, no, it's the shopkeeper. Okay, so she's actually doing good, I think. I think she's managing my shop. Is she the staff member here? She is, good job, Haley. Hopefully you can convince people to come and like purchase things from your shop. What's this person doing? <gasps> Using the shop, yay! And they got a magnet. Okay, hopefully that is good for them. All right, see? It's chaos, <laughs> but with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of focus, it can be somewhat managed chaos. And yeah, I don't think the grass, unfortunately, is giving us a big boost on walking speed or anything. So we'll put down, Oh yeah, look at that. Put down these log tiles and suddenly people are just zooming along, which is great. And they also can't see here, which is not great. 
Everything is too crowded. Everything is too crowded. But that's just the way it is. Let's see, how big can I make the Komodo dragon area? How big do I want to make the Komodo dragon area? That is the question. Uh, we could do this size. I could even make it go down in here a little bit, now that I'm looking at it. And then make people walk around everything. Hmm. <gasps> Are people- Oh, there's protesters again! Ah! Why? Alright, let's see. Can I do this? Okay, I can do this, and then put this right next to the subway. Alright, so I fit in a tiny tropical spot that I think I can put Komodo dragons if I really, 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 really tried hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this place is, is quite the mess, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then I need big old snake. The big old snake bench is cool. But my zoo's just too tight. But I'm trying to wait until we get back up to 700,000. Oh, yeah. Making so much money, though. Before I spend more more money. All right. Yeah, everything is... What are you doing here, sir? Trying to get me to buy your kangaroo horse? Pretty soon I'll be able to make my own kangaroo horse. Shoo, shoo, get out of here. All right, so he's gone. Phew. I don't know where the protesters went or what they were here for, but hopefully I can take care of that at some point. All right, meanwhile, I think we will trade for the Komodo dragon, but let me check on our breeding efforts real quick. All right, so we're gonna skip. How's our morality? Okay, because most of the time we let the babies stay with their parents, we don't have a negative outcome on the breeding that we've been doing. And I do need that lemur like up and ready to go. Ooh, only four more hours and then we have the new lemur. Yay! All right, so while all of that chaos is happening, what I was trying to build over here for our Komodo dragon exhibit was going to be a spot that would actually allow, allow us to put in like nice hedge fencing and things for people to walk through to see the Komodo dragons. But that reminds me, there is actually a unlockable bit of research that I haven't done yet that has trellises. Right here, the vine archways. I'm gonna unlock that. So that's a decoration pack. <gasps> Lollipop deco, oh, that's adorable. Uh, but I wanted to see what those look like, even though I have other things I mean to spend like our zoo bucks on. Uh, I, I just really wanted to see what those trellises looked like. <gasps> the falls! I forgot about the falls! How did I forget about the falls? Oh my gosh! You guys, it's so beautiful! <laughs> I will sacrifice so much to make this happen. Oh my gosh, I love that jungle fall. Oh, that's so beautiful. I, oh, it's animated too. Be still my heart. Okay, that's it. We're removing a whole bunch of things over here. Like, I'm just gonna get rid of that bench. We'll put in some smaller benches. Like, get out of my way. We're putting down the jungle falls all over the place. There's also normal rock falls like this. Very nice, very nice. But we're gonna put these jungle falls in. People, please move. Please, please move out of the way. Okay, you guys are, good luck. I think I had one person sacrificed for that, but it, I think that's okay. And then we have rose arch fences, which I can pretend are hibiscuses. Uh, and we have the vine arch fences. And then we have the normal hedge pack. I think I'll go with the rose arc. And we'll just say that, well maybe, I kinda like the, the normal hedges though. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. All right, well, we can put this here. And then one, maybe, maybe one of those shelters? No, that's a little too big. I wonder if I unlock more shelters, if we'll actually discover, uh, ooh, and actually maybe we'll put in some signs. That might be really cool right here. Just like some little information signs that people can go ahead and look at as they're figuring out like, oh, I'm off the subway trying to figure out where to go. I need a skinny sign if I'm gonna do this. I just love these cute little signs. It makes me wanna dive into zoo crafting. Ah, an Aztec map, that's so cool. Here, like a little notice board because we have our, our population planner right here, right? So it just makes sense to like have a cute little sign over here and then maybe I can put in like an adorable little light. 
Oh, I'm such a sucker for these kinds of itty bitty details and they're just so freaking cute. All right, and we don't even have the Komodo dragons in here yet. There we go, we'll put these down so people just have all the little log pieces to walk on. Adorable, I approve. And then we'll remove these pieces and we'll remove, whoops. And then let's see, we'll remove these pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, just put grass down, there we go. And then instead, let me put in some edged grass, like so, and then some log fencing, or some log pieces there. I think that'll be good. Oh, good, and people are buying magnets and cute things like that. All right, well, that makes me very happy with that little outcome. Uh, now we need to go ahead and we need to add ourselves in the Komodo dragons. So let's do that trade real quick. I, before we do that, I'm gonna just triple check. Yes, okay! Woo, we've got lemur action. Okay, so now we're going to swap these lemurs. Okay, they're nursing for like two more hours. All right, I can I can deal with that. And now let's go ahead. This looks so much nicer. Ah, I missed a spot. <laughs> See, we're improving things a little bit at a time as we go on. It's a mess. It's chaos. It's not 100% pretty, but I'm doing my best. And now let's trade for those Komodo dragons with the snake that we have at the Surabaya Zoo. As a country, we often get some things uh, up without getting a good, we give some things up without getting a good deal. For example, mining rights. But in this case, I will give you our animal treasure, the Komodo dragon for a very specific snake, but only if we carry on trading together for the foreseeable future. Let us build trust between each other. All right, so let's do it. And I will trade Sandy, the 120 year old snake, or Jasmine, the male, 90 year old snake. Uh, I'm gonna keep the elder, cause that just sounds really cool. And now we have two Komodo dragons. The mighty Komodo dragon is surely the prize of your zoo. I'm very proud to see our nation represented uh, across the world. There we go. And it's big enough for Komodo dragons. Also, I think Komodo dragons like water. So we're gonna put down a little bit of water at the front as a spot for the Komodo dragons to kind of splash about. And then we'll do, do I want a big lily pad? We'll do like some, maybe a couple nice little lotuses and then maybe some stone lanterns on either side. There we go. All right, so let's get this ready for Komodo dragons because I don't want them to come in and not have food, not have water. All of those terrible, terrible things where they don't have enough to eat or drink. And then let's see, a little shelter. I can tuck in a little moss shelter over here for them. Shelter increases the longevity that the animals have. And then I just like leaf piles. I just think that they make great toys and hiding areas for the animals. We'll also put in um, a car toy. I don't think it matters where guests can like see the animals, but I'm gonna put in a car toy and a car tire and maybe a couple other chew toys. Cause Komodo dragons, I, they, they like to chomp. All right, and then let's add some decoration. I can't really see, but that's okay. Put in some cute little plants into some corners. You have to be careful, because if you block <laughs> where your zookeepers can go, it's a pain in the butt to get everybody on the same page again. All right, and then we can actually put in like palm trees. That would be really cute. I sort of love the idea of having a palm tree. Big old leafy fern. I actually love the idea of the big old leafy fern more than the Aztec plant. <laughs> Forgive me, Aztec plant. Oh gosh, can't see a thing. That's okay, please let me finish decorating my spots. All right, let's do a large fern up here and over here and down here and then maybe Whee! All right, maybe a piece or two of bamboo. And then where's my vine tree? Woo! Big giant vine tree in a couple spots. Cause that, that should do. 
There we go. I think that looks really nice and it's a good spot for Komodo dragons to go ahead and begin their life. Yay! And now that we have done all of that, we can pop on in to the nursery, return these lovely, lovely animals, and we can go ahead and try again for our lemurs. Because we do indeed have a new lemur male who can pair with Latte, our female, and voila, hopefully have that lemur that will lead us to the elephants. <laughs> We're doing our best, friends. We're doing our best. I think we should probably have a good shot of being able to get the lemur elephants uh, with the two we have. So since the breeding facility is full, let's actually work on a another project. Oh, which reminds me. Do we have it? We have a new trade for orangutans. Oh my word. All right. So what do we need to trade? We haven't encountered that animal species yet. What could it be? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a walrus. Okay, so we need to get some variety of a walrus in order to go ahead and trade to the Surabaya Zoo. Uh, and does Rio de, Rio de Janeiro. I'm still mad at them about that whole chicken trade. That was completely unfair, if you ask me. But knowing that we actually, ugh, I know enclosures, I need to tidy them. Knowing that we actually have, let me think about this. Yeah, we actually have all of these different trades i'm looking down at my list right now so we traded the snake for the komodo dragons and we need a walrus variant for um the orangutans we're still not finding my giraffes i'm desperate for my giraffes then i think what we're gonna do we can either select a DNA pair. We now have tortoises and hyena that we could make spliced animals out of. And the thing is, spliced animals count immensely for the park rating because the number of variants that you have counts towards your final score for how interesting your zoo is and how much people wanna actually come and utilize your zoo. So knowing that, I think that we should probably make more spliced animals, especially because we already have a clone going. So I think we'll always have one clone and one splice, just because it's so much fun. Uh, and with that said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten. I actually have a D10 dice from my cool chicken dice my husband got me. I'm gonna roll. It says we should do a bunny. So we're gonna do a bunny mixed with a pig. <laughs> is what the requested outcome is. And I don't think we've worked on that one, so we're just gonna let it happen. Maybe we could have picked a more interesting one, but we're working on everything else. Oh, why are there protesters again? Oh my gosh. Here, go play with the monkeys, for crying out loud. <laughs> and we'll figure out why these guys are protesting soon. Oh, I only grabbed one protester, no! Why are you guys protesting now? What are your, your needs? My animals are enriched at least, come on, look. Okay, so I think everybody is leaving the zoo because we have satisfied, <laughs> they just showed up even though everything was fine. <laughs> that is so funny, you little, you little geese. Shoo, 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 shoo. But all right guys, thank you so much for joining me today. It is once again a chaotic day, but I'm really happy that even with all of this chaos going on, I stuck to my, my determination and I made progress by adding in a tiny little Komodo dragon exhibit. Oh, here, let's actually get the Komodo dragons in here. Because I want to see the Komodo dragons be added in before we finish the day. Okay, there's still two hours for them. Okay, you know what? Everybody is always complaining about being thirsty. Can I do anything about that? Is it my pretzel shop? Is that why people are thirsty? Let's see. I need hydration. What's the highest thing to give hydration to people? Slushy gives them 25%. Oh, actually cola gives people like a lot of hydration. Why are you guys just not buying a Coca? Like, I didn't say that. Why are you guys not buying a clearly not bad for you uh, juice? I'm just gonna say those are juice. Are you guys thirsty? Like, is this gonna help? Hello? There's, a, I guess maybe it's because my shops are too full. All right, we'll have to see. Manage shop, and we'll see if that makes a profit or not. Um, Because is, is this one making a profit over here? Popularity, 45, oh my gosh. And we'll put in a, a little pinch of caffeine to get people zooming. 
and it had like a hundred people visit it. All right, then we should be able to have people here soon. I guess it just takes a day to adjust. Whew, but all right, guys. Oh, they're inbound. Yes, all right. Come on, Komodo dragons, here they come. Now, my friends, we are dealing with dragons, which is quite exciting. And meanwhile, Jane, the visitor, is like, I desperately need somewhere to sit down. There we go. <laughs> that actually completes one of the tasks that one of the people wanted us to do as well. So let's go and complete that, because that makes me really happy. There. Oh, the roar of the dragon. Oh. This person will have a new task after one trade with the Moscow Zoo. I'm pretty sure we already completed the trade with the Moscow Zoo, but we'll we'll keep an eye out for that. And the Komodo dragons are in the water. Oh, I love this so freaking much. All right, you guys, thank you so much. If you could, do please leave a like for our Komodo dragons. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.